Greetings. Is this battlefield yours? This is the gutter of an unchained Drenger. A lost Drenger. That is what I am. I am vile. I should not be allowed to suck on clean air. A Drenger kills honorably, with glory and pride. Were these men not innocent? Many of them were. Many were not. <laughs> Their blood is now mingled and it stinks of the iron of my blades. <laughs> what an end! <sighs> Beloved Ragnar Lothbrok. He always kept me in check. He steadied the ship of my Hooger. Without him, I have lost my bearings. <laughs> I scare myself. Not a shred of decency remains. The dragon I was, I have lost him. But you end this suffering for me. You live with a great pain. One that cannot be eased by a Verkilt, nor a reckoning. Yes, you know my pain. And you look as though you could end it. <laughs> Do this then. A final kindness for an unworthy wretch. Lord Stringer, I will fight you, and help you find what Ragnar gave you. Loki's children, take me one and all! <laughs> Beware! Welcomes all kinds, so long as they war louder and drink faster than the last man. Anomaly number seven, if I'm counting right. You are. Just a few more to go. Ten in total. Ten. Okay, I can do ten. Does the Animus give achievements for stuff like this? Sorry, does it what? Forget it. Thank you. 
One-eyed wretch. He has taken our son, imprisoned him for invented crimes, and locked him away. I just said he would love. Do you not remember his flesh? You should have been more careful. Have we no power to stop him? To save our son? No recourse? What can we say? And to whom? Must the world know about our children? Must your wife learn of us? Is that a risk you want to take? I must do something. Good at these, Layla. I'm an engineer. These puzzles are child's play. Still, it's physical and mental. That can't be easy. That's true. I never had to swim through any fluid dynamics equations to solve them.
data. Here it comes. That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet, your father's sword. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now, but with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean... he drowned? <laughs> Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick, and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food. Then travel to Yond. Your father would wish that. This world is hard, and the gods care not. Describe it for me, Sigurd. Valhalla. My father says the walls will drip me, your fingers will sing, and your feet will grow wings. Jewels will fall from the mouths of wolves, butter jumps from barrel to bread. And the mud smells of lavender. I heard that once. Yes, and when your eyes command rain, it pours hot drops. Your smile craves sun, the clouds part like curtains. Bloody, shiny, unbreakable Valhalla. One day our slaughter reeds will guide us there, my Eivor. And my father will not be with us. That much I know for truth.
Looking for a worthy challenger. Slow sips often. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You are stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Feravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Feravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Feravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. I fought some hard battles at Feravid's side, and found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We are to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacasta, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacasta. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. We're going for a walk down to the temple. No sense wasting a fine goblet. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. Small village. Moira's house must be near. Sunan, guide me. What's this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Jet, need to get on the other side. One of the... 
Moira, we must go before they burn your cottage to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right, I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It'll take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed. Killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. No. Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Stretch your wings sooner. Afton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Hey, Mor, search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Olaf, <laughs> speak to us. Where are you? Go soon. <laughs> Olaf, speak to us. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Hey, Anton, may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Sniff the 
them out, boy! We will paint the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone... The trail ends, but nobody's here. Here, a hidden entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there! The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? There. Hold on, we'll find a way through. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor, by plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. Mm. She also said she'd seen your illness before. In her own family, said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. And half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravi gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. 
I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it. Killed for it. Bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrell killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Forgive me, I, uh, I find it hot in these furs. The, the day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the walls. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringa. Press him, Eivor! As hard as you can! Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise! No, they had no right to... It's rightfully mine! What? Words of poison. Show me what lies ahead. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? He gave your goblet little more than a second glance. He rants and broods in his high tower. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army, ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in your way. Having trouble keeping up? 
My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. Let's go. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stay. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise! I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am. Confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishie, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishie is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishie will accept them. 
Fjord of Jorvik could help. Good. Fjord's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. 